Good morning, good afternoon and good evening and a warm welcome to the new SSE Audio YouTube channel. My name is James Baker and over the next few weeks and months I'll be taking you through product demos, online training and all things new and informative in the world of live audio production. To start off, we are looking at an overlooked feature of one of our most successful products, one which SSE Audio supplies as a standard front of house system for all of our festivals, the Avid S6L 24C. Predominantly, we are looking at a feature within the product that is often overlooked. That is the ease of setting up the recording capabilities with VenueLink. So, what is VenueLink? VenueLink is a nifty little feature added to the Avid console line that allows you to import all of your channel names and routing settings that are set up within your S6L show file into the Avid sister product and industry standard Pro Tools. So let's dive in and I'll show you how it goes together. Okay, so items you'll need. You'll need obviously an S6L console, a Cat5 cable, a Thunderbolt enabled MacBook Pro, and you will also need a uh, Thunderbolt to Ethernet adapter. Now if you are using a later MacBook Pro with a USB-C port, you will need to stack the adapters. So you need a USB-C to Thunderbolt 2 and a Thunderbolt 2 to Ethernet. Okay, so now we've got the connection established. We've plugged in our Ethernet adapter into the laptop and we've plugged the Ethernet cable directly into the back of the console on the Pro Tools C port. So let's move over to the venue software and we can set up the actual uh, show file. So if we go to filing, we put it into config mode. We then go to options and interaction and we just make sure that venue link is established and as you can see here it is established. But we are not yet connected to the Pro Tools system. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go over to our laptop and just make sure that we're communicating with the S6L console. So the first things to do is go to audio MIDI setup. We go to our window and we select show network device browser. And as you can see, there is an E6 engine attached. So all you need to do is just tick the blue tick and then it's establishing a connection to the E6 engine. And there we go. Then all we need to do is go to Pro Tools. We can hit Pro Tools. And I hold down the letter N. Holding down the letter N while booting Pro Tools forces Pro Tools to look at the hardware engine. Okay, there we go. So uh, Pro Tools is booting. And you can see I'm still holding down the letter N. There we go. And as you can see, just to confirm, the playback engine is the E6 um, engine. So let's click OK. Now, we're instantly taken to the dashboard page, which asks us to uh, create um, a new session, recent session, or projects. Now, let's not do that for now, because we need to establish the connection between uh, Pro Tools and the S6L. So next, we go to Setup. We hit Peripherals. We then click on Venue, and then in the Advanced Network Settings, we select the interface, which is the EN04, which is uh, the engine of the S6L. We then click up here on the Venue system, and you can see it says E6L Engine 169.254.181, etc. So we click on that, and we can now see that this Pro Tools system is connected to this S6L. So we just press OK. Right then, so we're ready to now make a new Pro Tools session using the data from the S6L. So let's go File, Create New. We've uh, got to the dashboard and it says Pro Tools Record Demo. And if you notice, if we go back over to the venue screen, you can see that our show file is actually called Pro Tools Record Demo. So going back to Pro Tools, you can see that it says Create from Venue just here. You can do a Create temp, Blank Template, but the whole point of this demo is to show you how you can create a Pro Tools session from your um, Venue SXL show file. So let's just press Create. You can see it's creating the tracks. And there we go. So we have a fully set up Pro Tools session ready for recording with all the tracks, all named in exactly the same way as it's laid out on my SXL, including all routings um, for virtual soundcheck playback later on if you need to. So. All that we need to do now is record arm the tracks. So we do that very simply by pressing Control and Alt, and then 
click one of the record arm tracks and as you'll see that I've actually got my microphone coming into the first three channels of this mixing console. Um, we then go back to our transport controls, we press record and play and as you can see we're now recording. So just to put a bit of icing on the cake I'm going to show you how to create song markers in Pro Tools using the snapshot functions of the S6L. So if you're already a snapshot user this is going to be a very familiar process with you. Um, if you're not, there is a way of using this feature with the venue link um, so that you don't have to worry about recalling a snapshot and it changing any parameters on your console. You can literally set it up so it just does this one function. So if I just go to snapshots, you'll see that I've created these uh, six songs. So I'm going to select all of these six songs by pressing Control A. I'm going to remove all of the scope um, capabilities of the console by pressing none here, all outputs none, all layouts none, and there's nothing going to happen. So any of these snapshots get fired or recalled, it's going to change nothing on the console. But what it is going to do is something very, very cool in Pro Tools. So if we go back to the Pro Tools screen, we can see that the Pro Tools, the, the show's running, we're recording, we're recording the show. In this case, as I said, it's just my voice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to then go back to the venue screen. I'm going to select song one and I'm going to recall that snapshot. Then what I'm going to do is if we go back to the Pro Tools screen, you'll notice that song one has been created in the marker in Pro Tools. And then if I go back to the venue screen, I'm just going to do song two. I'm going to recall. And then if we go back to Pro Tools, you can see that song two is also um, marker put there. So what this means is, is when you're doing a virtual sound check in the future and you're playing back from Pro Tools of your recorded session, you can actually recall um, these snapshots and the song marker positions in Pro Tools all from within the console. Okay, so that's a brief tutorial on how you can connect your Avid S6L to a Pro Tools system. Please like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next one.